Good day everyone, this is Teacher Nori. In this video, we are going to talk about water forms and its importance. Now let us talk about Earth's surface. Earth's surface is covered by land and water. More than two-thirds of Earth's surface is water. Our waters can be fresh water or salt water. 98% of our surface water is salt water. The remaining is fresh water. But 90% of that fresh water is either underground or frozen. If we want to study waters, we have to study hydrology. And a hydrologist is a scientist who studies Earth's waters. Oceanography is the study of our oceans, and an oceanographer is the scientist who studies our oceans. What are water forms? Water forms are the different ways in which we can observe water, except for precipitation, which is water from the sky. Inland water forms are our main source of fresh water. We can also use salt water to get fresh water by removing its salt in the process called desalination, but that will make fresh water very expensive. Each water form is important to us and we have different uses for them. Now let us look at some of the water forms that we have here on Earth. First, we have ocean. The ocean is the largest water form. It is made up of salt water. It is one of our absorbers of excess heat and minerals. Oceanographers have divided the oceans into four. We have the Pacific Ocean, which is the largest and deepest, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean, which is the shallowest and smallest. In recent years, they have added another ocean and called it Southern Ocean. Oceans and seas are our main source of seafoods and salt. The sea is a part of the ocean that is near land. It also has salt water. The Philippines is surrounded by the sea. We have the Sulu Sea, Celebe Sea, Sulawesi Sea, the P Philippine Sea, and the West Philippine Sea. Coves, bays, and gulfs are all parts of the sea, but they are partly enclosed by land, protecting it from large swells from open waters. These are natural docks for our ships, boats, and other water vehicles that we may have. In the Philippines, we have Lingayen Gulf in Pangasinan, Manila Bay, in Metro Manila and Anawangin Cove in Zambales as examples of these. Another water form is the lake. A lake is an inland water form that is surrounded by land. It can have fresh water or salt water. Freshwater lakes can provide water for people that live around it and can also supply fish, shrimps, and crabs. The largest lake in the world is Caspian Sea and it has salt water in it. In the Philippines, the largest lake is Laguna Lake. Connecting an inland water form to another inland water form or to the sea is the river. A river is a ribbon-like body of water that flows downhill from the force of gravity. Depending on its size, small rivers can be called a stream, creek, brook, or other names. 
The mouth of a river that opens up to the sea or to a lake is called the river delta. A delta can be a part of an estuary. An estuary or estuarine ecosystem is the part of a river where salt water and fresh water meets. This area is a good feeding and breeding ground for different kinds of animals and can provide us with fish, crabs, shrimps, and other mollusks. If the water supply in an estuary is deep enough or sustainable enough, it can even provide home for a certain type of shark, fish, fishes, aquatic animals that can only survive in brackish water, which an estuary has. Another water form is a spring. A spring is a natural discharge area of underground water that goes into a stream, lake, or sea. It can have fresh water or salt water. Depending on its location, the water in it can be hot or cold. A geyser is a type of spring that spews out its water in a fountain-like way. The water it releases is boiling hot. Another water form is the waterfalls. A waterfalls is a part of a river where water falls deeply over a rocky ledge into a plunge pool below. It can also be called a cascade depending on the size of the waterfalls and the amount of water that falls in it. In the Philippines, we have lots of waterfalls and some of them can be used to provide electricity to millions of people. In Luzon, examples of waterfalls are Hinulugang Taktak, Pagsanhan Falls, and Daranak Falls. And that is the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Until next time!